Welcome to Tube University, where YouTube is the teacher. This episode, we're going to learn how to make homemade marshmallows. I've never made homemade marshmallows before. That's why we're using YouTube to teach me how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to look for homemade marshmallows. All right, the first one that comes up is America's Test Kitchen, 2.7 million views. How to make marshmallows like a pro with the best homemade marshmallow recipe. That one looks good enough for me. So we need powdered sugar, granulated sugar, vanilla extract, gelatin, cornstarch, and corn syrup. So it looks like we're gonna go shopping. So we got everything we need from the store. Now we need to start mixing stuff. Since the marshmallow mixture is really sticky, I start by lining a 13 by nine inch baking pan with a foil sling. I also spray the sling with vegetable oil spray to prevent sticking. Start by blooming two and a half tablespoons of gelatin in your mixer bowl with half a cup of cold water to soften it and let it sit for at least 15 minutes. While that's sitting, you can switch gears and prepare the sugar mixture. In a saucepan, combine half a cup of water, one third cup of corn syrup, two cups of granulated sugar, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Bring everything to a boil over medium high heat. You can swirl the pan gently from time to time, but don't stir it. Let the mixture go for about six to eight minutes until the syrup reaches 240 degrees. At this point, the 15 minutes for the gelatin should be up. Go ahead and secure your whisk attachment and flip the mixer to low to break up the gelatin a bit. Then slowly and carefully pour in the hot sugar syrup. Try not to hit the side of the bowl or the whisk to avoid splattering. Now gradually increase the mixer speed to high. You want to mix it for a full 10 to 12 minutes. 11 minutes later. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but here's the little extra. I hope that's not a bad thing. Using a spatula you've sprayed with oil, scrape the marshmallow into the prepared baking pan. Now we put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight, or a couple hours, depending on how hungry I am. Many unbearable hours later. In a small bowl, whisk together half a cup of cornstarch and half a cup of confectioner's sugar. Dust a little of the cornstarch mixture on a cutting board and spray a chef's knife with oil. There you have it, homemade marshmallows. They actually came out a lot better than I expected. I was expecting to be not as good. They're pretty tasty. If you have any ideas for future episodes, leave them in the comments below. These turned out great. That's it for this episode. I want to give a huge shout out to America's Test Kitchen who provided the tutorial for today's assignment. The link to that tutorial video will be in the description below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you on the next one.